Hey guys, it's makeup artist Priscilla Ono here, and I'm here with Allure to talk about Rihanna's best beauty looks. So this was at our launch in New York. It was a big day. It was the first time anyone was ever gonna see some Fenty Beauty like live on Rihanna. And she said, I just wanna have like a trophy wife day. Because trophy wife is so potent and so strong, I was actually going like, you know, slowly and like building. And she's like, no, 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 I want like a lot. And she like grabbed the brush and she was like, Ugh! like just putting it on. And I was like scared at first, like, oh my gosh. But it actually looks so good. So I was like, okay, okay, we're gonna go there. Let's go there. So I just went there with the trophy wife. We did it all over. We wanted to keep everything else more neutral and clean. The liner that I did was like super thin just on the lash line. And then the lip, we kept it really natural with just our gloss balm. You know, Rihanna's big on skincare. Sometimes we like to use like the Tatcha Hydrating Sheet Mask. Um, so we did like a sheet mask. We do lots of moisturizer. Um, and for foundation, Rihanna gets more oily throughout the day. That's why her foundation she, that she created was meant for, you know, skin to still look like skin, but not get oily or greasy. So it has like that soft matte finish. We don't go heavy on the foundation. I just try to even out the skin tone first and then go in and give her more coverage like under the eyes or wherever the skin really needs it, not putting on a full mask of foundation all over. So this was for our London PA. And she was wearing that really beautiful uh, purple dress, which was like super cute, super fun. I was just like, do you wanna go purples? And she was like, yeah, let's do it. I always think like you can never go wrong with like a monochrome look. I did it all over the cheek. And by then I already had learned Rihanna's technique. When she says, I want this on my cheek, she means she wants it on her cheek. So I just went for it. We did, you know, unicorn, we did confetti, we did it on the eyes. This time we did a little heavier, uh, makeup as well like we did a little bit of eyeliner and you know some mascara just because it was more of an evening look and we wanted it to be really sultry and pretty and then on the lip we also kept it neutral again um, because we did go a little heavier on the eye so Rihanna loves a clumpy lash makes your lashes look really full and it gives a little edge to the look when I apply mascara I don't apply it with the brush um, across I kind of do it where the brush is like pointed towards the eye and I kind of do one clump at a time, like one little cluster at a time to make them look, you know, nice and clumpy. So this look was at the Paris PA, the day that we first debuted our Galaxy collection. The green shade was one of the most dramatic colors in the palette. It also had a lot of shimmer and shine. Um, and I just thought on her eye color, it would look so beautiful and make the green in her eyes pop out. I did more of a smoky application, so I kept it more on the lid. I actually used the Glitter Release Eyeliner that came out in that collection first, and then I applied the eyeshadow on top to give it more of like a dense effect. And then in the crease, I just blended out like some browns and some neutrals, just to kind of smoke it out and give it a little bit of balance. We wanted to be more neutral on the lip, just to give it a little bit of balance and still look really fresh and gorgeous. This was actually for Rihanna Street Naming Day. So the street that she grew up on, you know, her whole life was actually gonna get renamed to be Rihanna Drive. Those national colors for Barbados is actually the blue and that, you know, mustardy yellow. So I did a monochrome to match her um, dress. We did like a mustard yellow on her lid. I think that when I'm doing more bold colors, I always like to keep certain things more neutral, especially when you do like a mustard yellow on the eyes, you don't want to put it all over the eye. You know, I usually like to do more neutral colors in the crease. If you keep it more monochrome, you're never going to go overkill. And sometimes we'll do complementary colors where it's complete opposite. So this look was actually for Rihanna's holiday party for Fenty Court. Part of the holiday party was going to the Jay-Z concert, which was really cool. We transitioned into this night look. So we did more of like a neutral bronzy tone and actually the lip for this um, was more of a neutral color, you know, because I wanted to do red from the beginning, but she asked the stylist, like, should I do red or neutral? And of course, stylists always say neutral, like no matter what, I don't care what stylist it is, but as a makeup artist, obviously, we always want to pick the bolder, bolder colors. She's like, I should do red, huh? And I said, yeah, you should do red. And I'm glad she did because it popped so much. You know, if you ever are in doubt, if you ever feel like your look is just a little too timid, if you put a red lip on, it's always going to make the look pop, no matter what. Yeah, so this is actually for our Mademoiselle campaign. This is 
the best navy blue lipstick. I don't care. It looks so beautiful on every skin tone. I think that this look just is a pow look on Rihanna. Who can rock blue as good as Rihanna? Like, it looks amazing. I remember for this actual look, we actually had to do a makeup look that would look good with all 12 colors of our lipsticks. And we have neutrals, and we have brights, and we have, you know, in between. So we did more of like a bronzy look all over. So we did bronzy on the eyes, no eyeliner, just mascara, you know, really fresh, beautiful skin. So I didn't do this lip, she did it herself. So she actually did this lipstick by herself. So this was for the Grammys, super big day. Um, and this day I had to kind of like strategically think of a look that would look obviously gorgeous and be a standout look, but that could easily transition into her performance look, which was gonna be very bold and bright and colorful. She decided to wear the brown, you know, full trench with the gloves and the boots, and it looks so fierce. The easiest way for me to transition is to do more of another monochrome look, but to do more like bronze and browns, because then I could pop that purple and all those bright colors right on top, and it would work seamlessly. On the lips, we actually applied a little bit of lipstick. This one's called Shoddy, and then I a little bit of the gloss bomb on top. She was performing with DJ Khaled. They were performing Wild Thoughts, you know, one of their biggest songs. We wanted to do, you know how in the music video, Rihanna has that beautiful blue, like that bright, vivid blue eye. So I wanted to do something similar uh, with a different color. So just really beautiful and that pop. So we decided to go with purple. So she was wearing a purple dress and her pink tights and it just looked really gorgeous. For performances, she does, you know, get hot. Anyone gets hot. And usually when I do shadow or even when I do foundation, I like to layer. So I like to start with thin layers and layer on top and I, especially for shadow like when I'm blending I do more of a pressing motion versus more of like a back and forth and I feel like that helps the eyeshadow really saturate and stay on. Yes, this was actually for our Beach Please collection. The colors are called Sangria Sunset and Mimosa Sunrise. So that was, I was like, I want it to look like a sunset, you know, on your eyes. And I just remember her looking at me with this warm look, like, mmm, like she loved that idea. So that's what I did on the eyes. I made it look like a sunset. The cheek was like a sunset. It was just the most beautiful look. Um, and I feel like it really complemented her skin tone really well. Then we kept the lip a little bit more neutral with like a sheer, one of our sheer glosses that we have. When you go for the lighter color on the lid and then the more intense color in the crease, go slowly and blend one at a time. So apply one, thoroughly blend it out and then kind of look at it and you can decide like should I add the next color or not sometimes you don't need to and then sometimes you do want that pop sometimes I layer like three four different colors you know really just depending on the event and what the mood is So this one was for the Savage Fenty launch, which is Rihanna's lingerie line. And it's all about sexy and, you know, um, feeling great in, in your own sexy way. So we definitely wanted to have, a, you know, it play on the face. We wanted it to look sexy and sultry. So definitely a smoky eye was the call. Uh, we did browns and we did a little bit of like soft black. And I kind of just like mixed all those tones together. Uh, just to make this really sultry, beautiful eye. I love pulling the eyes out and up, and I feel like Rihanna's all about that. She's always like, I want my eyes to look, you know, like pulled up. So when I do Rihanna's eyes, I like to actually start with shadow at the end of the eye, and then I go up towards the end of the brow, and that kind of gives like a nice lifting effect on the eye. So like anytime um, anybody wants to lift up their eyes, I would say to, do that style and it'll definitely give you like a super lift. And then the lip, we want it to be sexy as well. So we did um, red lipstick. You know, it's all about reinventing it and doing it in a cool, new, funky way. And I think that mixing the browns and the bronze and the black and mixing all those sultry colors and kind of placing them in strategic right places, I know that she doesn't want the same thing again. She wants to take risks. She wants something different. And for me, it's very refreshing and it makes my job even more fun. Hope you guys enjoyed these looks and hope you guys got a lot of inspiration. These are just a few of Rihanna's best beauty looks. Make sure that you keep following us for more.